This deck may only be given to someone who has a very wicked soul. Someone who likes to spread plague and diseases to everything that they know. And honestly, you don't care about your hygiene if you play plague decks, right? That's 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 what you should start telling the plague DK players. They have very bad hygiene because the plagues. I don't know why, but before recording this video, I was thinking like you know, like the witch or like that that lady that gave Snow White like the poisonous apple. And when I put up the hood like this, I just thought that it just fit absolutely perfectly for talking about this video because we are talking about plague control DK, and this is going to be probably one of the weirdest lists that I'm going to show you guys in quite some time. But trust me, this deck is actually a lot more powerful than you may originally think. And I have to start by talking about why Plague DK has such a bad reputation in Hearthstone right now, especially within the competitive community. So the reason why a lot of top legend players do not like Plague DK is for one simple reason. You do not get to decide when your opponent draws all the plagues and they actually die. You do not get to decide whenever your win condition actually initiates itself. So the reason why Plague Control DK is much better of a deck uh, than regular Plague DK is because your decisions and you being a good control player is directly going to relate to the outcome of the game for one simple reason. Yes, you are shuffling Plague into the deck but you have a completely different win condition of essentially grinding out your opponent so much uh, out of the game to where they are going to draw all the cards in their deck they are eventually going to draw those plagues so it is on you as the control deck to mitigate their threats to destroy all of their massive tempo plays and to make sure that they can't pressure and end the game and luckily the plagues are not only going to be healing you summoning minions and disrupting but it's going to be dealing damage in the process so let's go ahead and talk about the the reason why i believe that that if you want to play plagues and not be well i guess completely hated then control plague dk might be the best way to show that the deck can actually be skillful so one thing we have to ask ourselves is the question why are we not playing rainbow because the only real reason to play rainbow right now is if we want rezka or if we want the climactic necrotic explosion in our deck and yes these are very good cards. We kind of wish that we could run them, but the benefits of going for the double blood are for running these particular cards. We get access to Corpse Explosion and Soul Stealer, particularly in the deck, so that way we can focus more on just removing more so than trying to go for all these tempo plays, because all these, these decks do share a lot of the same cards, but the reason why we're going all in on the controlling aspect of the deck is because of the finishing power the plagues can actually produce, especially since you're all in on this game plan now it does kind of suck that we don't have access to plague cards like the staff and the uh the calvadir for example but we can at least run runes of darkness so we can get our hands on the plague weapon if we really need to shuffle more plagues into the deck which is definitely something that you want to do but the real power of this deck is just you know having a lot of different turns of being able to remove boards as well as having effective card draw turns and that is why acolyte of pain is in this deck not just because it works really well with the idea of throwing acolyte of pain into corpse explosion but you got to think a little bit harder than that what about runes uh, what about uh what about uh, threads there we go threads of despair works very well with acolyte of pain to the point where we can run this one acolyte and if you look really hard in the deck the only uh duplicates that we have are runes of darkness threads of despair mining casualties acolyte of death crop rotation and i believe that is it so we actually have a reason to run the reno in this deck and the reason why we don't care about overriding the 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 horseman is because this just is used as a as an aoe this is just the best way of removing the most amount of tempo onto the board and also getting rid of like locations getting rid of like restraza nests like this is just a really good control tool that you want in the deck and before you guys ask yes if you play horseman and then play reno and then top deck the head reno it, it doesn't do anything it, reno stays the same you don't get a new hero power it'd be really cool if it worked that way but it just does not so the horseman still does does have some real good potential in this deck but both hero cards can work together sometimes you might have to sacrifice getting the head but now this begs the question what exactly are our mulligan so the cards that we want to keep in the mulligan are going to be the miracle salesman mining casualties acolyte of death chill par and baron honestly all of your duplicate cards are some that you could debatably keep in your mulligan but you only have about five of them so keep this in mind but they are by far the best cards for you to have and you need to draw them in order to activate your reno anyway so those are going to be your 
your best cards to keep. The other ones that you could potentially keep are like Chill Farm Baron. You can maybe keep a Viper if you're going up against a Mirror and you just want to make sure that you have the answer for the Crusher weapon. And that is another thing that's really sad about this deck. We do not have the Crusher weapon, but Runes of Darkness carries very, very well. And you can technically find it from the, uh, the Primus as well. So there's plenty of ways of getting your hands on that weapon if you do need to get it. But this deck really is all in on just playing control, destroying every single board that your opponent can possibly come up with. But one thing that you got to keep in mind is you got to know when to use the right removal at the right time. There might be some times where Corpse Explosion might be extremely good in order to deal with like a big minion. Other times you might have to play a, a Threads of Despair because you don't have the mana cost in order to do everything else that you want to do in a turn that isn't just removing a board. This is a deck that really does make you into a better Hearthstone player the more that you play it. And I really encourage you to watch the game clips coming up ahead because there are a couple of situations to where it's like, you know, I could remove the board, but should I remove the board? And that's the question you always got to ask yourself as a control player is that should I save this for another opportunity? Because remember, with this deck, you are actively trying to grind your opponent to essentially drawing fatigue from their deck, which means you need to play the absolute late game. Don't get too greedy, but also don't get too comfortable in situations to where, you know, I could take a lot of damage, you know? Understand the potential of your AoEs, understand the thresholds that your opponent needs to get over in order to win the game and save the right card for the right situations unless you absolutely do not have a choice and you have to play defensively. But I want to give a special shout out to Tic Tac for coming up with this version of the deck. Yet another Tic Tac special. He's been coming up with a lot of great archetypes and a lot of cool Hearthstone decks. So make sure you check out his Hearthstone channel over at twitch.tv slash Tic Tac underscore HS. And if you don't want to go to his channel, then you should check out our Patreon and you should subscribe and yada 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 and do that all, all that other stuff. YouTube 101 thumbs up and everything. But instead of plaguing you guys with my typical YouTube outros, I'll go ahead and let the plagues plague themselves. So thank you so much for making it to the end of this very special deck intro and we'll see you for the next video and make sure that you poison a princess the next opportunity you can. Maybe I shouldn't be telling people to poison people, but you guys know that I'm joking. But in any case, enjoy the deck. I'm not really sure uh, if, if the deck the way that it is now can survive. It'll still be like okay, but it's Omega less. It's Omega slower now. Play this deck without Reno? No, I'd rather play it with Reno. Reno adds an element to the deck that feels like like we 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 can support the Reno, and you want the Reno for like the big thing that he can that, that that he can do. You know, like it's just a it's just an answer for quite literally everything. You put it into the deck if you have it. You know. I don't think I'm gonna keep Viper though in the Mulligan. That seems like a surefire way of um. Yeah, it seems like a surefire way of uh, just losing. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't want to just keep the Viper and then just do nothing with it. What am I going to do? Immediately trade it? Is this corn that's playing at the moment? Uh, no, it's the Wii Sports theme. Sorry, Spotify was covered. And it, and it, and it always acts up for some reason if it's covered. Okay, so we'll just hit the draws here. Probably too soon to play this unless uh, the Baron dies, but I don't think it's time to play the weapon yet. I had someone uh, Reno me twice in one game earlier. High rolled on a Starlight Whelp. Oh my god. GG, dude. Okay, hold on a minute. Maybe Reno is bad because if I'm just going to go up against Plague decks all day, then that'll be kind of a problem, right? Mon Pa, let's go. So this trade into Headless Horseman, freeze weapon this game, the glitch uh, freeze dream. We are we already proved the glitch, and in all honesty, most likely picking the Crusher is just gonna be correct anyway because of the life steal. I'm gonna try and not hack this game if I can prevent it, because that just isn't fun. Oh come on. Disrespectful. I can I can deal, but it's still rude. You know, it's 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 still my opponent didn't consider me in the equation. He just considered themselves, and that's just rude. So maybe I don't play Horseman because I might be able to play Reno. I don't think this is a turn six Horseman play. At the same time though, I'm not gonna be able to draw my duplicates by the time that we reach turn eight. So Reno's not actually gonna be playable. Mm. What's this glitch I got up a few minutes ago? Okay, so the current glitch right now. This is probably gonna get fixed by the end of the day. 
Root of Darkness uh, is carrying over the freeze from the Quartzite Crusher. And it's kind of hilarious how it's working. I don't think I want to kill a two for her with the with the horseman here. We have weapons. I don't think I, we're just never playing Reno, all right? We just have to accept that. Especially now that Down with the Ship has been played. Yeah, we're never we're never playing it. So we just always horsemen. So the the glitch at the moment, the glitch at the moment is if you play Runes of Darkness, and Quartzlight Crusher is an option, but you don't choose it. Let's say that you choose the Plague Weapon instead. The Plague Weapon is freezing targets now. And also, if you play Runes of Darkness, get another weapon, and then you override the Quartzite Crusher, the weapon that overrides the, the Crusher somehow inherits the Freeze. I, I, I don't know why, but it's what's happening. It's what's going on. Yeah, it's really weird. It's really weird. No, on all, all attacks, on all attacks. We didn't technically attack a minion, but I don't understand why it wouldn't work if we we're freezing the enemy face. But then again, Hearthstone bugs are Hearthstone bugs, so... <laughs> okay, so like right here, we're not gonna get the freeze. Like we didn't get the freeze there because the Quartzite Crusher was not in the Discover, you see? You see how that works now? Ridiculous have predicted that with a Demon Hunter nerf, it would allow uh, a new meta since they no longer would have to play around Shop or Demon Hunter. What do I think? They're, right now, what's happening is the old meta minus Demon Hunter. But there might be a possibility that with the absence of Demon Hunter, things like Sludge Warlock could emerge. There could be other aggro decks like Flood Paladin, for example. Uh, their board-based matchup decks might actually, um, might actually thrive now. It'll take a while to see the effects happen, but with Demon Hunter being reduced in power, it'll definitely help uh, other decks that have been deep. Like, because the, the mag has been the main reason why Shopper has been so good, right? It's not just the fact that you have a three mana weapon that you play on turn two into a three mana six five. It's the fact that I do all this and then immediately delete your board and invalidate you having any shot of winning. That was the problem. It just locked people out way too easily all right this is uh this is kind of bad unfortunately this is really bad for us <sighs> this is probably one of the worst matchups i could have queued and now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I don't highlight this deck if it's really bad and it's a freaking uh, the DK. It's just, it's just gonna be another deck that I get uh, that I get flack about for. Oh man, I can't beat Demon Hunter. I'm only see I'm, I'm only seeing Death Knight, Death Knight, Death Knight, Death Knight, Death Knight. I can only see plagues. And low key, it is kind of kind of good. So. Eh. What happened to the Ogre stream? We played a couple games of Warrior. We got the clips that we needed for the video. The deck's not good. <laughs> it's not good, and it was a miracle that it worked the way that it did. So we'll just we'll just take those as a, as a W for now. You know? Can't really ask for anything more after that. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna tempo king it. I'm never playing the Reno at this point. I love Polyphia. Dude, I absolutely adore Polyphia. I say this all the time, but like they legitimately make me want to quit the music business because they're just so goddamn talented. It's like I will never be this uh this talented, but fat bussy fanboy thinks I'm this talented to come back for the two months. <laughs> My favorite username ever. I think I can confidently say that. Welcome back to the horde, my friend. Thank you for that support. <laughs> They are so good, fat, uh, uh, fat bussy fanboys. Yeah, of course they are. Of course they are. <laughs> I, be I bet they're fantastic. <laughs> I want to play mage so bad. The only viable is rainbow, and it's not going too well. Uh, Sif mage is good, but it's hard to play, and it can be punished by the meta. So it's like, eh, it works technically. I hate to do this because of all the plagues in my deck, but this is literally the reason why the Acolyte's in here. Maybe I can get lucky and get the head.
Don't just be nothing but plagues, please. Promising start. ETC for down with the ship. Or, or oh, there we go. Hell yeah, I'm back. You have earned an eternity. All right, there we go. Maybe, maybe I can do this to him back. Cause I've got my runes for a weapon plague as well. Most base deck I've ever seen, uh, if I dare say so myself. Hero power ogre druid. That guy is that guy is crazy, dude. Hero power ogre druid. That guy com combined probably the worst two possible synergies and put it in the worst class. You plague me, I plague you. Exactly. Okay, so now I just want to threads because of the tempo that it gives me. Hello. Hello. Discover more plagues. Give me the weapon. And on, okay, and, and if it ends up getting the crusher, this isn't my fault. Well, okay, I guess we're going with Crusher then. The one time I really needed the Plague Weapon. Alright, still no head for my opponent. No head for you, only me. Do I miss Guff Druid with Sire Denathrius? Okay, I don't miss Sire Denathrius Druid, but dude, I miss like... Wild Heart Guff, Trog, uh... Resizing Pouch Druid. Like, the Masters, uh, because Habu had that as his favorite deck, uh, in the Masters Tour, uh, fun facts. And that just reminded me, like, how much I love that card. Like, first of all, I love Guff. Go ahead, sue me, I don't care. I love Guff. I will, I will, I will protect my boy until the very end. Okay, just damage, I guess. Spend three to deal three. Here we go. Yeah, Guff was really fun, but like specifically the resizing pouch, like Trog Druid, like that was so much fun. And and Habu had that listed as his favorite deck during the Masters Tour this weekend, and it just rem it just reminded me of the good times I had with that deck. I had a trash win rate with it because I wasn't good with it, but oh my god, was it so much fun! Resizing pouch RNG was it, it kept me playing Hearthstone for a while. Oh my god, dude! This is this is a little bit illegal, I'm not gonna lie. This is kinda working. And I was I was worried about dying from the very beginning. But oh how the tables have turned. <laughs> oh how the tables have turned. First match in arena, uh, against Frostlitch Jaina. I miss her so much. I miss those water elementals every single turn. There was always a way to make one. Uh, I didn't play uh, during Festival of Titan. Uh, so, okay, so Resizing Pouch was like years ago. It was like right when Guff came out. It was a one mana Druid Hunter dual class card. I think it was a Hunter dual class card. Uh, and it was discover uh, a card based on how much mana you have left over. So if you cast it for one, half nine mana, you discover a nine mana card. Also, ugh, absolutely shat on him. Let's go, dude. Okay, it gets another Death Knight. Lots of Death Knights today. You want me to play? Wants me to play Big Paladin? Oh boy. What are you beating with this? If if you are winning, you got a Pipsy in the deck. You got Kologarn, Tyrion Forging. Hmm. There's a deck I have to ask someone's permission before I start playing. But this reminds me of that deck. It's very close to it. Raid boss Anixia, thank you, thank you. I'm getting I'm getting Dragon Queen Alex Straza and Raid Boss Anixia confused. Thank you. Thank you for that. Midnight Echo. Shonan. Shogun Shonan. Oh wait a minute. Guys, you know what I haven't showed you yet? Hold on, let me let me drink some water and then I'll show you guys something cool. So yesterday. Yesterday I shot pool with the boys, but it was a very special day of shooting pool with the boys Because your boy finally has his own pool cue now And I'm really excited to, to bust it out probably this Friday 
I am very slowly becoming obsessed with pool. Damn. With billiards. I, I love it. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and take the draws here. And then I can just probably follow it up with ETC. But, dude, I absolutely love this thing. So I, I, ha I have this case now. It's just a regular black case with um with a blue bottom, so that way I can identify it as my own. But I finally got the pool cue. I finally got the pool cue. I bought I bought it off my friend because he ended up uh, upgrading his. So we should probably do this to knock out the uh, the mom pa. This is a very important card to get rid of. But now I can actually take it out. Is that a pool cue? Yes, it is. It it definitely is. And now, I got my own pool cue. Mm, mm. Let's, uh, let's, let's, you know, short, let's, let's get, let's get our steady aim, you know, steady aim. Yeah, right, right at the camera. <laughs> but yeah, dude, I, I love playing pool, dude. My friend let me buy this off him for 30 bucks. He upgraded his pool cue. And now I got my own. And I got, because I was the only person... Uh, who would go out, you know, without without the pull cue. Everybody else had one. And also, it is being picked up by the light very weirdly. Do you guys see that, like, pixelated effect? That's kind of cool. Is that just my my positioning? I'll have to see in Nevada that's, like, popping in the way that I think it is. But, like, look at that. It's look, it looks like it has white lights on it. What's the weight? I don't know the specifications of it. I just know that I've used it. It feels good. And uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very basic right now. I'm very basic right now when it comes to pool. I am not good by any means. Well, that's good. Plague weapon? Dude, the one time I really needed it to be the plague weapon. Fuck it. Please don't be Primus. Okay. Good enough, I guess. It would have been it would have been nice to hit the hell yeah, but we also deny a card draw. Oh, look at the bottom? I'm not seeing any numbers or any specifications. I'll have to ask my friend. But yeah, you could you could definitely tell it's been used a little bit. There's a little bit of like, you know, like little bumps and nicks on there. But it works perfectly fine. And honestly, if I end up buying my own pool cue in like a year or something, then at least I got good practice off this one. So that way I can figure out what kind of pool cue is the best for me. But, like, my friends and I are, like, legitimately thinking about joining the pool league in our state. And just, like, trying it, you know? Like, we're, we're not doing it because we think that we're good. We're doing it because we just enjoy it. Okay, here we go. Knock this out. No, I'm, I am the one who knocks. I don't know why you didn't freeze my face, sir. But you probably use it to kill a dirty rat, right? Ha <laughs> ha! The dirty rat actually served a purpose. Dude, pool, it really is a good time. Like, I'm, I'm not kidding. It, like, legitimately wears my stress away. Go have fun. Competition will make you a better player. Exactly, man. Let's go bowling. Oh, that's funny that you say that, sweet Swedish killer rabbit. You all know the only sport that I did all four years in high school? It was actually bowling. So, I just became more based in your eyes. You're fucking welcome. Bowling, bowling is life, man. I played, I played so much bowling with my grandpa. Everybody needs a castle. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh, bowl these plagues, dude. Hold, hold on to these plagues right now. Do it because we enjoy it. I said that about Hearthstone so, uh, so long ago. Ah oh, man, I hate this game too. It's okay. It's okay. We, see, I would hate Hearthstone if I was my opponent right now. Get get plagued. Most common bowling injury is a sore thumb. It it, it really hurts, man. That's why I started throwing um with just uh with just two fingers and cradling it, because it was a way of like reducing uh, the fatigue that I would get from from rolling with with my thumb. You know, I'm I'm not the greatest bowler, but my my highest score I think is. I think it's 225 or 235. That is my highest score in bowling. Okay, so Soul Stealer just gets rid of everything. Is that just the way to go? No, yeah, Soul Stealer, no, get rid of everything. Oh, wait, shit!
Oh, I'm a fool. Wait, oh, there's a different play then. Oh, he's gonna start freezing me now. But I have Reno though. You know, this this probably needed to happen anyway. Like, how else was I getting through and killing the Primus? I wasn't. Did I catch your song request? I don't think I did, Scrap. My apologies. One more death can't hurt. Uh, what did you suggest? Did you drop a link? I'm not seeing a link. That feels good. Oh, Midnight Echo. Oh, was that? Oh, that was the, the, the song name. The Midnight Echo. Ah, okay, got it. All right, it has been added, my friend. My apologies. All right, so... This legit might just be Reno to unfreeze the weapon, but... I should do that. Actually, no, I think it's just Zilliax and just trade. I could also... I want to kill this minion so that way I can potentially overdraw him, but it wouldn't he just overdraw a plague? But then again, like forcing the draw can force him to maybe chain some plagues. I think I have to hold on to the Zilliaxes so that way I counter his Zilliax. So that's the reason to not play it. Also, we don't need the healing. Maybe we chain some of the plagues here. Didn't chain one of them. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, typical. Need to do a 70s rock playlist stream sometime? I mean, my my playlist, I can make my playlist do whatever I want. Like, I've got a lot of music in this playlist, and I don't mind just, like, you know, queuing up a bunch of songs in a row. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's not good. So you think uh, the top deck will be Zarimi Priest or Spell Token Hunter now? No, it's Zarimi Priest 100%. It's just a matter of which Zarimi Priest, you know what I mean? Wait, I think Reno's playable. Oh my god, Reno's, Reno's yellow. Cool, I guess. Plagues? Oh my god, and I get to I get to cheat now. Oh my god, I'm a dirty cheater, dude. No, I have to be a dirty cheat. I need this. It's not my fault. Blizzard fucked up. Oh no. Don't be a plague. Nice. This is very nasty. This guy actually might learn the new interaction. The three damage on this is pretty scary, though. Oh, the, oh my god, no. Wait, no. Wait, no, sir. Sir, this is a Wendy's. This might have to be a Zilliac so I can defend against the weapon. It sucks not using the value the value from the hero power, and it sucks not playing mom and pa here. God, dude, if I could have played this weapon and started doing the, the freezes. Oh, man. I know that I'm a dirty cheater, but come on. <laughs> Wendy's uh, Wendy nut freeze you in the face. Why? Why would you ever say those words in that specific order and 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 the stream that you are watching right now? This deck has to be playing a viper, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it out because if he vipers this weapon, I at least still have this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it this way. You are an educator. Let this guy know what's up. Exactly, dude. Hearthstone educator. I love that. I I could I could cree. I could cree, bro. I cree every time. Oh, I cree. The saltiest tears. Okay, hold on a minute. Is this a weapon that's gonna freeze me? Oh, I'm getting humbled, dude! <laughs> no! No! Oh god, why? Oh, sweet lord. I actually need my horseman now. Lol.
I need horsemen, dude. Like, uh, there there was honestly an argument to maybe just go with the Acolyte of Pain and just try and draw it, but if I do that, I am for sure dead, right? Well, what? Oh my god, I don't have- I have- uh, oh my- I only have a thread wait, 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 wait. Wait, no! Oh my god, dude. I think I just lost. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oh! So you're telling me there's a chance. So you're telling me there might be a chance if I can just draw my horsemen. The skill of that man. Yeah, I'm being, I'm being scammed right now, dude. I was gonna cheat him, but he's cheating me. The, the dirty cheater, man. Blizzard, arrest this man. This man is cheating. Somebody do something. Oh my god, wait! Now I'm the cheater! Yes! So you're telling me there's a chance? Is this the karma we're talking about? Yes, exactly. This is the karma we were talking about. Exactly, yes. In my favor. Now I just gotta keep shuffling those plagues and just keep myself alive. This this is pretty close, man. Now that he's played the climb after necrotic explosion, like he needs the plagues to kill me, right? And I might have some healing. The tables have turned so much in this game. Here's the thing: the tables can turn two more times. <laughs> Where it's like if he unfreezes himself with the uh with the head draw. I mean he's also just got all this damage, man. This is this is hard to come back from. Karma's a bitch for them. I mean, I could still be losing. We'll find out. Let's see how many plagues we draw in a row, right? So he's already played double down with the ship. I don't trust you. I don't trust that. I don't trust that. I'm so- I mean, uh, maybe that's wrong. Maybe that's wrong. That emote literally made me throw down that card. Oh shit. Oh, that's not good. You think you think the plagues? You think the plagues can get there, guys? You think there's a there's a shot? You have earned an eternity of torment. I think there might be a chance. This music in the background. Come on, dude. I need I need five. All right, I'm not I'm not gonna count them like I did last time. Cause last time I did I did the the one two uh, uh, uh. I I got one off. This is lethal. It's just lethal, dude. I don't gotta say anything. It's just lethal. Ah! Uh, this is Lord of the Rings uh music before battle. I don't think this is Lord of the Rings, my guy. Pretty sure this is a Dragon Ball uh, remix or edit of some kind. Pretty sure this is a Dragon Ball edit of some of some sort. <laughs> and now we're back to the Mars Volta. All right, no way I'm dead, right? Like if, if he only drew one plague, I'm only gonna draw. Well, see what I mean, dude? See what I mean? Okay, all right, all right. I, it, it is better for me to shuffle another plague. Oh my God, dude, please. Please, dude. Please. Please, man. Thank you. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you, game. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, game. Oh my lord. What? That was... Like, that That was like... That was a back and forth, dude. I don't, I don't know what more you want from your Hearthstone games there. Unless you really hate plagues, but I mean... That was a control gamer out controlling the tempo gamer. And that, that guy kind of threw away his climactic. Maybe that's the reason this dude lost. And I did get the uh, the corpse explosion right when I needed it, but oh my god, dude. I feel like I'm supposed to keep the runes here. I also want to keep mom and pa, but it's probably not correct. I've lost a hand buff today. Oh man, hand buff making a comeback? Is it? 
You're telling me I'm gonna have to start playing Paladin again? Okay, I'm only gonna hold this because we're always playing this on two and always playing this on three. Uh, when do you have fun days? We stopped doing fun days, unfortunately. We stopped doing fun days because it was the, the, the streams that had the least uh, viewership. People left because they probably didn't have time to play the games. People just weren't interested in it. So unfortunately, we stopped doing it because it was not good for viewership. Is this Highlander? Most broken deck that I can remember, like in the time that I played Hearthstone. Well, here's the thing. I pretty much have played Hearthstone outside of Alpha. Like the beginning of Nox Ramus was when I started playing Hearthstone. So it's like, I know and remember most of the Hearthstone decks. So you're pretty much asking me what the most broken deck of all time is. And the most broken deck of all time was without a doubt, day one Demon Hunter when it, when it released. So yeah, it was a hundred percent, hundred percent that deck. Like we just, we've never had emergency nerfs happen like that before. 24 hour, like seven cards emergency nerfed. Think about that. Considering wild, ooh, okay, that's different. If that's the case, wouldn't Tiller decks be uh, the best decks ever? I mean, it depends on what your definition of, of insane is, where it's like, there are decks that have turn one lethal potentials, but they were like ridiculous, ridiculous high rolls. And then there's like Garrote Rogue. Garrote Rogue was an insanely good deck. But like the most disgustingly good deck of all time, I still think would go to uh, Day One Demon Hunter. Cause that just really shows you guys and really tells you guys how much of a problem that freaking deck was. All right, looks like I don't have to be a dirty cheater for now. Demon Seed is pretty toxic for a while too. I love the Demon Seed. I didn't play during that time. What was it like? It was a it. The ladder was literally seventy percent of a deck. Boom! There you go. Seventy percent. Seventy percent of the meta was Demon Hunter, and it had a ridiculous freaking win rate. It was the highest win rate we had ever seen in Hearthstone. So just like in terms of just like unprecedented events in Hearthstone's history, it would definitely be day one Demon Hunter being the, oh God, what's happening? I imagine that was probably like one of the biggest, like, oh shit, oh shit, it's on fire, it's on fire. Someone please help us. <laughs> like at Blizzard HQ. Play Galakron Warlock and you counter uh, Demon Hunter for ELO. Snip Snap Warlock was beyond broken. Yes, that was a very beyond broken deck for sure. Um... That deck stuck around for a while too. If we're talking, okay, if we're talking about the most busted wild deck, oh, this is such a hard fucking question. Would it just be Tiller decks? Because Tiller Rogue and or, or, or Tiller Priest and Tiller Warlock were really freaking toxic. And it's like, and you literally couldn't play around it outside of like Dirty Rat. What the fuck is this guy doing? I'm very confused. Naval Mine Rogue? The current Naval Mine Rogue is pretty insane. No, Tiller, T-I-L-L-E-R, not Teller. So Wretched Tiller is a, uh, okay. Wretched Tiller was a one mana card that I think would deal three damage to the enemy hero whenever it attacked. And there was a combo with Hysteria, the, um, the Warlock Priest dual class card to where if you made Tiller immune, and if you had another immune minion, it would just infinitely loop and deal like 60 damage. It was pretty freaking disgusting. Oh my god, whoa. Yo, okay, respect. Uh, but your board's dead, so I'm sorry. Ops, uh, dude, I'm actually the fun police right now. I am quite literally the fun police right now because I have another Corpse Explosion and I also have Soul Stealer. This guy is literally a board-based deck and I am Omega Control right now. <laughs> oh, this this is this is tragic, dude. And I played the one that came from the Hematurge. And now I'm about to do this if he goes white again and then I have the other one that came in my deck so that way he just knows. Oh, dude, because I could be Rainbow DK. He doesn't know. Missed the swing, there's no point in swinging. 
I don't need to freeze him. I might need to trade into a minion though. This is a control deck, man. Like you, this is like anti everything for your opponent. You do everything that your opponent would hate for you to do. And it is the greatest archetype in that perspective. <laughs> Yo, Warshack, bro, are you back from Colombia? Or are you still, are you just, are you just in Colombia now? You just moved there, didn't you? I'd move there too, honestly. How's it going, dude? How's vacation treating you? Well, a good time to take vacation during the uh, the Demon Hunter craze. Got back a few days ago. Dude, you were like there for a fucking minute. You were there for a while. Is it just literally horsemen and start hero powering? Yeah, I think it is, because then we can just kill the, the, the two, three, he's left with two, one, ones. We, we just, we, we grind, bro. We're, we're grinders right now. We're on Twitch. What do you expect? This is grind meta. This is grind culture that we, that we are in right now. So much clear at the moment. Board, this, he will never have a board that sticks. <laughs> and it doesn't look like he's playing Highlander. He's playing some kind of like weird, like showdown tempo, like sea giant deck. 11 days. It was chill. If we ever go homeless, we can live like kings there. Wait, what do you mean go homeless? If I'm homeless, then how are we gonna live like kings there? If anything, you should say when we, if we need to go off the grid. But then again, I see what you're doing. You're actually playing the late game. If we were to, we were to tell the people where we're going, it's not very, that's not, we're not really doing ourselves a favor there. All right, well, everything dies. No, 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 no. I'm mostly doing this just to increase the corpse count so that way corpse explosion kills anything. Dude's not even gonna stick around. I had, I had two more AoEs. I'm not done with you and I had fizzle too, man. Going off grid in Colombia. Choose your words. Uh, choose your words carefully, Clark. I mean, hey, man, if I'm going off the grid, no one's gonna hear from me ever again. I'll, I will never have to worry about my words ever again. <laughs> I can't do that. Can't lose with DK right now. Uh, that minus four besides top eight. Wait, what? Wait, what do you mean? Oh, you're talking about the minus four. Okay, Th those. Today we have not lost with Death Knight. Today we have not lost with Death Knight. And we played two different Death Knights. Like, I'm literally 8-0 with Death Knight right now. As of today. That 0-4 that you're seeing up here was was when the, the meta was unoptimized. <laughs> so don't so don't let that stat fool you. You reckon this is good for ladder? It could be. It very much could be. And that's why I'm playing it. Because it's like, it's like all in on control. Because... Rainbow DK is kind of a control deck, but it can fight for tempo. This deck is just is like it's like control warrior control priest. You know? You just remove. You just remove. Pyromancer, oh boy. <laughs> Which one do we go for, chat? I mean it's gotta be Crusher every time, right? Because we're against a druid. And I actually don't have Crusher in the deck, so I think I have to take this guaranteed. It'd be really funny just to take the runes, but I'm just gonna go with the safe play, the safe, uh, the safe pick. Do we go for dirty rat? One We're just gonna tempo here. He's gonna try and find ways of dealing with this. I need to get rid of hand space anyway. Is this deck weak against the Serimi meta? I don't think it is. Oh God, what the fuck? Oh boy, okay, I might need a rat now. I might, I might need a rat out this guy. I don't think I have to worry about a weapon, so. Into Dragon Nest. Corpa Kalani? Dude, I love Corpa Kalani. It's, one of, it's probably my favorite folk metal band, or folk band in general, in all honesty. Did Vampiric Blood rotate? We're not, we're not triple blood rune. We're double blood, one unholy, so that way the plagues can actually end the game. But since I don't have the hell yeah, I can't actually go for plagues right now. I don't know what my opponent's going to do, and I'm very concerned. Like, he's literally just ro like, he's literally doing what the old ramp druids did. It's turn five, and he's at 10, uh, 10 armor, or he's at uh, 10 uh, mana. He's playing pendant, he's getting, he's getting cards. I feel like I'm about to get Eonard. There's no way things slow down that much, right? Eonard druid being a thing? Oh my god, ain't no way. <laughs> okay, okay. I see where I see what we're doing. I see what what we're laying down here, and it's pretty funny. Not gonna lie. So this is just John Bray Druid, then, right? Yeah, it's in the core. Wait, what? 
What? Hard run in the deck? What the fuck? What? Huh. The Citadel stands strong. So this is a Reno deck. By the very definition. This has to be like a fucking Highlander deck. Otherwise, what are we doing? My man's playing an arena tech. <laughs> oh no! Uh, what 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 do you do when it's stupid? You know, <laughs> like oh swipe. I mean, hey dude, maybe this guy's got something we don't know. We got we got to play this game until the end, but at the same time, I'm not very hopeful about this fucking working. Thank you for the card draw, sir. I think your order might have been wrong. He's trying to play an updated version of 5% Druid that I was playing. I can't. I literally can't. I thought I was going to make that video, but we turned it, it turned out to not be that entertaining. It was cool. It was kind of funny, but I decided against it. Okay, crop rotation. I would just rather do this for, for Unholy, dude. Come on, give me hell yeah. Symbol of death. I want to go corpse farm, but it's got to be Ma and Paul. I hate giving him a draw, but I'm just going to do it. I want to see what else is in this deck, though. Because if it really is a Reno deck, then it's kind of tragic that I haven't gotten my hell yeah yet. But then again, Cactus Construct and Malfurion's Gift are duplicates. But those would be the cards you want duplicates for. Save that footage for the worst decks that I played in, in Whizbang. Well, it, did, it wasn't really a Whizbang deck. We were more so playing it because it was an anomaly that peered through data. And it might be, it, it maybe could have made a funny video, but it, in all honesty, it, 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 if we would have won with it, maybe it would have been more entertaining. But we just couldn't clutch out a victory. Okay. Hopefully this sticks. Like at this, I, th I just need the hell yeah, dude. Like I need to find a way to, what the fuck? Oh. Oh. Okinson, okay. C got, C, C, now it makes sense. You guys wanted to make fun of the, you guys wanted to make fun of this guy and he's actually a, 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 a five star fucking chef. This this dude is cooking, and y'all want to make fun of him? Absolutely not. I can't believe you guys. This guy's fucking cooking, and you're not you're not giving him an award. Where's this man's medal for cooking up this freaking Oaken Summit's Druid? So I don't have to worry about Reno cards now, right? So I just hit him in the face. All right, I'm waiting to see, uh, cause for now. It's closer uh, to Wendy than Michelin. Wait, what? I play mobile. Try duos. Uh, it's the closest that we can get to co-op mode. You literally manage both your board and your uh, companions and make decisions to make uh, either both strong or so one supports the other. Yeah, I, I've, I've played duos. I, I know the idea behind it. I was able to talk with uh, with Bulfer, and I actually might be... I'm, I'm probably going to be hitting him up. I hit him up a, a, couple, a couple months ago, and I don't think uh, that we continue the communication about it. But I wanted to do something with uh, some Battlegrounds creators potentially for a video. Because I, I think duos is really fun and it might be the reason why I start actually playing Battlegrounds now. What kind of druid is this? I have no idea, but it runs Oaken Summons. The question is like, what is the top end? This is kind of interesting, though. We are playing Rainbow DK. Ah, oh, Dwizzy. Ah, oh, look again, bro. Look again. You think we're playing Rainbow DK? That's cute. That's real cute. This is this is why I don't trust Hearthstone players' opinions anymore, bro. Because someone will come into my chat being like, "Lamau playing Rainbow DK. Oh, so unoriginal." 
Bro, where where's the blue? Where is the blue? I don't see any blue right now, my guy. Why didn't I save the snake oil to cycle? Uh, because I want less cards in hand right now. Wait a minute. Oh my god, he drew the rest of his deck. Dude, where is hell yeah? I'm on mobile dog. I can't see half the cards in the history. Literally right here in my hand. Got him. Literally, this oh, bro does, doesn't know what Soul Stealer is. <laughs> Streamer playing. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. It's just over. It's literally just done. Oh, let's go. Well. Checkmate casual? Bro, I'm winning the game. I could care less. <laughs> Don't play that Reno. That's illegal. That's exactly why I did it. Exactly why I did it. I don't even need to play the fizzle at this point. Why didn't I dirty rat? Oh my god. Why did I not dirty rat? Oh my god. I I could have I could have ratted that. But I was focusing on chipping away the armor. Oh no! Wait, okay, hold on. Hell yeah, still wins these. Lamau, I have no. I, uh, sorry, babe, I don't have time for a head right now. I got Hearthstone to play. I got, I got hell yes to find. Well, there's that. We're a dirty cheater. Oh my god, where is the hell yeah, dude? One shot is all I need. Oh my god. G te uh, Z uh, Jan te uh, Teal. Is that what it is? Jan Teal, is that how you pronounce that? Good to have you here, man. Thank you so much for that support. Welcome back to the Horde, my friend. Thank you for the tier one. We might have come across the greatest control deck in Hearthstone, but I have no idea what I'm fighting right now. <gasps> No. No! Okay, whoa. <laughs> oh my god! What?! <laughs> what is happening? Oh my god, what is happening, man? I'm a dirty cheater, I know. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, it, it, it missed the hell yeah. No! Oh my god, it missed again! because I didn't rat. Imagine losing. Why did I freeze? It's the current bug right now. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh, I can win the game. Oh my god. I can actually win the game. Okay. 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 All we gotta do is just survive. Very easy, right? There are a lot of minions. Oh, okay, I can't I can't play into this right now So we just hit him in the face One shot is all I need. We got to keep shuffling plagues Oh, wait, that's right. I freeze it 
<laughs> oh my dude, this bug is so stupid. Like the bug went really okay. It would actually kind of make a difference here. Whoa, what? Just a car? Just a car? What bug is that? It's a dumb one, is what it is. It's really dumb. If you play runes, and for some reason, if Quartz Light Crusher is discovered with the runes, and you don't choose it, like, for example, me choosing the Staff of Primus, for some reason, the game is confusing um, the, the freeze effect at the moment. Wait, was Jessicar? Oh, wait, yeah, Jessicar was for from Aviana. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna die here, man. This is how you play Plex, dude. This is how you turn a brainless, uh, what's the word? Brainless, um, low skill ceiling deck into a high skill ceiling deck. Because now the challenge isn't winning, isn't having the plagues kill my opponent, it's just surviving. Every turn I survive, the closer I- Oh my god, Maroot! <laughs> oh no! Wow, he's gotta be mad about that. Can't do this. I mean, we could, but we shouldn't. All right, that was the last bomb. Debatably, should have kept the Viper in hand, in all honesty. But I, there's no way we lose now. The copy we weapon also freezes. Yeah, so it's like in the coding of the weapon. The song throws me back to my teen years. Same here, man. I, 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 I love Foo Fighters. One of the reasons I got into rock and roll, man. One of the many reasons. Uh, why would they play test the most played class in standard? Because it's important that everything has a balance. If anything, isn't it really good that they play test the most uh, popular class in standard? Because God forbid the most popular class is always the most powerful. Popular doesn't always equate the power in Hearthstone. All right, come on, plagues, get there. Get there, dude. Oh, come on. How many plagues are in the deck? I think they were sarcastic. Well, some people would actually believe that, though. <laughs> you never know, dude. You never know. And this is why I always ask for emotes if you're going to be sarcastic, because I can read a comment like that out of context. And if you're trying to be sarcastic, you got to make it obvious, you know? Got to make it obvious, man. Oh, what a game. Sarcasm undetected. I did not detect it, sir. It went... Right over my head. 